Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, Ken, Ken Video Day. I don't know what we're calling it. I keep, I'm going to change it all the time. They were saying Ken's Corner and Ken's whatever. I don't know. It's just me. Just Ken here today. How's everybody doing? Uh, so you're probably watching this on Thursday, but today is actually Tuesday. Um, it is... Um, Actually, the sun was peeking out, so it's sun partly sunny, 34. Not too bad. First time we've seen the sun in about two weeks. Um, by the time you're watching this, we're probably getting pummeled with snow uh, on the ground. Maybe. Who knows? And then it's supposed to get like 15, 12 degrees over the weekend. But the, the crazy thing is, is they say, I don't know, I've seen stuff for 20 to 24 inches of snow, but then I see memes on Facebook that say, Anywhere from 1, 2, 5, 10, 12, 14 inches, and it's going to start snowing at 7, 8, 9, 10, sometime in the next day or so, and possible rain. It's just, you, you never know what you're going to get. They always predict these big snowstorms, and quite honestly, we, we never get them. So that's the weather today, and probably what you're seeing uh, as you're watching this video uh, on Thursday. So a couple things I want to talk about, just in general. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll cover some football stuff at the end. I know not everyone wants to hear the football stuff, so I save it for the end. Um, didn't do great, but didn't do terrible. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But I, I did want to talk about something. So I'm on Facebook a lot, and uh, one of the uh, posts I saw uh, yesterday, actually, someone posted is, what was your biggest achievement for 2022? And I sat and thought to myself, what is mine? And I was really kind of saddened by the fact that I didn't, have this wow year for 2022 i'm not trying to bring everyone's parade down but it was just kind of a year you know it was, it was in i know i know and i'll talk about this in a little bit we did you know launch a new business so some would call that a wow but but not me i, I don't know it just no real big wow factors this year i mean everything was just kind of even steven you know next day moves on to the next thing kind of thing and I think people in general are just, you know, that's what we're all doing. We're just kind of going through the the groove and, you know, trying to figure our figure out our way through life and, uh, you know, what's going on. But uh, some of the people obviously posted some really cool stuff. A lot, a lot of people have made some accomplishments. Maybe my expectations are a little too high for myself, but uh, I just I felt kind of bad that wow I didn't didn't set a goal this year, which maybe I, I need to do that for 2023. Is just write down some kind of goals. On a piece of paper so that at least I feel like all right I accomplished them through throughout the year um, we do have some big stuff you know coming up we're always forever changing uh, you know Candy and I've been having heart-to-heart -heart talks and uh, you know trying to figure out some some planning which I'll you know cover here shortly but uh, just wanted to kind of go back to the what are your accomplishments this year? I'd love to see in the in the comments. Um, make me feel bad because mine are just not not uh, you know what I would call spectacular. But I'd love to read all your guys' accomplishments um, that you, that you've done this year. And it can be something as simple as you know I beat this or I kicked this or I lost five pounds or I got a promotion at work. I, I would love to to see those comments. So that that would be cool. So back to the candy and I think you know I just wanted to you know candy's fifty. I'm forty nine. And many people, you know, have watched our family nest of the years, and maybe there's some envy there. But you know, quite honestly, we're we're just like you guys. Um, we just happen to put our lives on YouTube for for everyone to watch, and you know, we've had our ups and we've done some really cool things. But uh, at 49, I'm I'm kind of lost a little bit, just trying to you know find my way of what I want to be when I grow up. And I know uh, always on film it looks like we have our crap together, which you know for the most part we do, and. And I know people would love to be in, in our shoes and our position, but I feel like I need this, I need purpose. I, that was the word I brought up to Candy, is this, this next part of my life, I need, I need purpose. You know, my goal is maybe retire in 10 years, but I need purpose for the next 10 years of my life. What is that purpose? The kids are getting older, you know, of course we're, you know, weddings and grandkids and all that stuff. Uh, I know it eventually it will happen, but I just feel like I'm floating floating without purpose. So maybe that comes back to the the goals of 2023 of make maybe making a list of you know what do I what I want to be when I grow up. Um, we're fortunate that we can you know still try things and do things differently. But honestly, I mean, in, even in some cases I feel like I've been on my own for such a long time. I think I would struggle go back in the workforce. Sometimes I don't have a filter that would probably get me in trouble. I'd be in HR every other day, but uh, you know, sometimes I just I've been on my own. It'd be hard to go back to work, but in the same token, it's like 
it would be nice just to, all right, get up. This is what you're going to do for the day, you know, <laughs> change lives. I, I don't know. I just like I've, I flip flop so much of where I want to be. I really don't know. So um, recruiting's doing OK. Uh, 2022 wasn't great for recruiting. COVID really put a nail in that from the standpoint of hospitals financially are still hurting from from COVID. Uh, they threw a lot of resources at uh, problems during COVID. Uh, they didn't have a real good checks and balances, and I think they're kind of there's a ripple effect going on. So a lot of the systems that I did a lot of work with have kind of cut back with outsourcing uh, to to companies like mine, and it's just been a lot of retooling. Uh, on a positive note, I have a really good client of mine. Uh, got a couple things cooking. Hopefully those will hit here soon, and then uh, I'm I'm actually in the process of picking up a really big client. Um, which is cool for me because uh, my other ones have kind of simmered down right now. So recruiting, uh, you know, is, is on the up. Hopefully that's going to change here soon. Uh, YouTube is, you know, YouTube views up and down, uh, all that good stuff. And then, um, you know, we have, uh, you know, this new business, which is called Rompley. I'm sure some of you have seen it. Uh, a lot of questions on why our family nest what are they, you know, uh, that doesn't really fit. You know, we, we are a good Christian Catholic, you know, channel. Right, so uh, good, good old family. We raised our kids right, all that good stuff. But uh, Kami and I did some brainstorming, basically all summer long, of what can we do to make money? What can we do that so we don't have to go, um, you know, into the marketplace and, and get back to work again? Recruiting wasn't doing well. Uh, YouTube was kind of down. So obviously, you know, we have to pay for our lifestyle, just like you, you guys all do. You know, get up in the morning, go to work, all that good stuff. So we came up with the, uh, actually she did, uh, the the adult toy thing. We're not some kind of freaks of nature. Um, <clears throat> we've always kind of just done some research on, you know, what's what's happening, what's hot. That's how we got into YouTube. That's how we started the recruiting business. I mean, I was working for an engineering firm uh, for 10 years and, you know, Candy was watching the kids standing. I'm sure some of you heard the story. Home with the kids. Uh, she had medical billing. Didn't want to go back. The kids were going in school. She didn't want to go back into the workforce. Google top ten businesses to start at home, and you know, physician recruiting was one of them. So I'm like, she's like, you wanna? Sure. I quit my job. We started the recruiting business. It's just been, you know, our life is our lives have been roll one thing into another, and we work really hard at it. We've we've done all kinds of things, avenues to make money, and you know, one of the hot things is adult toys. So uh, you know, we we took took a stab at it, and met with a uh, you know a supplier. Uh, actually, I've talked to a lot of suppliers, tried to learn the industry a little bit because I'm I'm no expert. I'm actually a lot more of an expert now, right? So I can I can help uh, guide you in the right direction, but. Uh, you know, so we, we threw some money at it, and to us, it's, it's a commodity. It's, uh, you know, more to get into the mental health of, <clears throat> you know, what people are doing. I mean, fads and things are, are changing. I'm, you know, reading statistics that people are getting married now and <clears throat> living separately. And I just, who knows what the world's becoming, you know, for... Uh, um, for for business and home life, but we're, what we're trying to do is is provide a commodity that hopefully will bring people together um, to you know be maybe a gag gig for novelty or, or something that uh, you know draws connection. You know, uh, sexual health is mental health. All those good things you know come together. So I don't need to you know kind of explain justify I guess, but uh, it's something we're trying. It's a commodity. It's it's fun right now. It's exciting. Um, it's actually doing better than I thought. Uh, I, I, we have ran into some roadblocks of how to use social media to promote something like this. But uh, we're learning. We're learning. We're giving it a shot. And if it doesn't work, we're on to the next thing. But we're hoping uh, it does well. And it's, again, we're looking for, for purpose. Uh, and we'll, also this, this new business brings me into, I guess this is my biggest achievement for 2020. We did set up a really cool website. Um, we've got into supplier management, packaging. We have all these tools. It's It's maybe the product doesn't seem right but the process is is fun i like the process candy's done some outstanding social media posts with it um i'm doing all the the buy it's just it's been fun maybe the commodity's not right but the it's it's i think it's right i think it feels good for us for right now and we're gonna roll with it and uh it's doing well so if you haven't checked it out it's rompley.com then i want to go back to you know kind of my final topic here before i get to the sports stuff is um uh, um, talking about feeling and emotions and where we're at and COVID and, you know, I've been watching interviews and COVID really, it messed us up, guys. It, it, it contained us, locked us down and we're, <sighs> our family nest even too, our, our big thing that we, we always, you know, would emphasize and push is that 
not everyone has a normal home life. Um, both parents are working. The nuclear family's just kind of, you know, it's, it's, things are different right now. So you have kids that are coming home from school. First thing they do is hop on the video games, iPads, social media. So they're being educated by, by schools and social media. Parents are both working. So pushing morals out into our children is, is becoming rather, rather difficult. And I think, you know, with COVID and social media and all these things are going on, people are becoming angry. <laughs> Maybe you're one of them. We're all becoming angry, confrontational, all that good stuff. And, and I know just through my, my years of even being on social media, it wasn't always that way. It was, you know, even vlogging at home it was like going into families' homes and what are they doing? Are they having fun? And, but it's just, it's ever so changing. And I don't know if social media is always always out for our best interest maybe the heads to be um i'm glad we still have a voice and we can you know talk about this st stuff with ne not necessarily getting shut some people get shut down but uh not always but but just to talk about your feelings and then people want to come in and just tear us down individually maybe you could be your friends uh, a friend of a friend told me a story about um, um basically uh just went through a divorce and um, he, he, he asked his daughter, you know, how she felt about the situation, if she was crushed or upset. And quite honestly, the reaction was really different. She basically stated that since her parents got divorced, she feels normal. Now that's scary, guys. That is absolutely scary that, that word, those words came out of her mouth, that it's normal. And the reason she stated that is because so many of her parents were divorced, she could now relate to her friends. And it was a connection point. Man, we really need to get back to family and being together and picking right partners and you know bringing things into our lives that um, make us a good, strong family. But that that was crushing. But uh, to go back to social media and feeling good and being you know happy and angry, even now Christmas it just doesn't feel the same. I'm trying to get in the Christmas spirit, but let's 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 talk about you know the anger. In, in social media. So one, some of us are on Instagram, some of us are on Twitter, some of us are on obviously YouTube, Facebook. So I'm on Facebook and, and I'm a culprit. I, I'll pick my battles, uh, whether they be, you know, uh, about politics or what have you, or other topics that are going on. You'll battle with your friends because everybody has a voice now and behind the keyboard, you can pretty much say whatever you want, whether you hurt someone's feelings or not. But I've noticed a lot of anger a lot of anger in people that hopefully we can start changing. Maybe that's our goal for 2023 is to be much more happy and moving forward. But I'm a Dolphins fan. I've been booted out of two groups, um, not because of necessarily fighting, one because maybe I said a bad word or something like that, but just uh, overall, just the people are attacking each other over the Miami Dolphins and their record and their quarterback. We are all fans and it's just, one person has this opinion and he's right. So this person then attacks him and starts calling. I mean, it's it's brutal. I mean, I, don't, I probably should leave these groups because the negativity is so, it's and it's it's split. It's like, really, it's just, we are such a divided world right now. It's un, unbelievable. But, um, I, it, it, and Candy and I had a conversation today talking about the same thing about views on, on social media, whether they're posts, or YouTube videos, people want to see the negativity. And the, the interesting thing is, is it's the, it's the wow factor, it's the clickbait, it's the, oh my God, so-and-so broke up with so, or someone's hanging out with so. I mean, even the reality television shows people are living on, that's, that's what people are fed, fed to gravitate, gravitate to because they think that um, the negativity that they see out there actually makes them feel better about themselves. And that's, that's kind of a slippery slope and kind of sad. I hope we don't go down that road, that road, but uh, people would rather see negative stuff than positive stuff on social media. And it just blows my mind how the algorithms will pick that up. And I, I'm guilty too. I mean, first thing I do, get on my phone in the morning and, oh, so-and-so is being traded or he wants to retire. I mean, we, we gravitate towards the negative media and we've given them so much control to keep posting this stuff. And it's really warping our brains, guys. I don't. I, I, 
not that I, I, I would never live during the 60s, but I picture myself, you know, convertible cars and everyone going to the beach and hugging each other and beers and having Kool-Aid and, you know, all the kids running around. I do remember that in the 70s, kids just playing, running around. It's like, we we're going such in the wrong direction and I don't know how to get us back there. I can't do it by myself, but, uh, you know, who knows? So I'm going to get 15 minutes of blabbing. Hopefully Candy cuts out some of this garbage. Um, previous last week uh, picks... Talking about the Dolphins again. I went nine and seven. A couple of those games I want to talk about. One, the Colts were up 33 to nothing at halftime. Blue. I turned the game off. Came back and the the Vikings won. Um, I think it's 36 to 39. 39. The Vikings won. That was crazy. Some really bad officiating. I don't know. The Bills beat the Dolphins. I called that game, but Miami had a chance. I think the referees were. Pretty biased in that game. There's some memes on, on NFLmemes.com you can check out. Same thing happened to the, uh, the the Washington Commanders. Oh my gosh, he was being hugged in the end zone. Cost them the game as well. Uh, and then then the uh, the New England Patriots on the final play, they could have went to overtime, started a ladder on the ball, ladder to the uh, to the uh, the Raiders, and they scored a touchdown to win, which helps the Dolphins. I like that. But uh, nine and seven, uh, no, ten and six on the week. I went ten and six on the week. Not bad, not great. Um, if I replayed the sheet, I'd be perfect, right? So let's talk about week uh, week sixteen. First of all, fantasy wise, um, I played this week, and I played the co commissioner. I kicked his rear end. I got Blake this week. Um, really excited. So the winner of this week goes on to the. The, uh, the, uh, the fantasy football championship. I think I got Blake, he's got an injury. Uh, he's got a couple injuries going on. I have Joe Burrow, I have Jamar Chase, I got Pollard, McCaffrey, Kelsey. I'm gonna beat him up. That's, that's the goal this week is to beat him up. But so on Sundays, I go to Blake's house and we watch the, the Lions because I'm supposedly this good luck charm. I don't know if I mentioned it in last week's video. Um, good luck charm. So I think I'm six and zero with the Lions being at their house. Unfortunately, this this weekend the Lions play at one o'clock on Christmas Eve. We're going to church and have activities planned. So uh, plus Blake works, so hopefully the Lions can win without us because I think we're we're controlling the uh, <laughs> the destiny of the Lions. Anyways, week sixteen, uh, some some good picks here. Um, got the Jets playing Jacksonville. I'm taking the Jets, even though Jacksonville just upset the Cowboys. It's at the Jets. Jets needed to stay alive in the playoff hunt. Buffalo's going to Chicago, supposed to snow in Chicago, cold, whist, blistering, I guess high winds, but uh, Justin Fields isn't playing this week, so Buffalo's hot, they need to keep rolling to try to find that one seed, I'm taking the, the bills on that one. Cleveland at home playing the Saints, uh, Cleveland much better uh, team at home, plus it's going to be cold, chilly, possible snow, uh, Chubb's good on the ground. Uh, New Orleans, more of a dome team down south. Kamara will have you know a decent, probably 70, 80 yards, but I'm taking Cleveland uh, in a squeaker on this one. Titans just got beat up pretty good. They're on a downward slope. Uh, they're still trying to fight to own their division. They beat Houston. Inner inner uh, conference win for the uh, for the Titans. Chiefs uh, at home against the Seahawks. Geno's pot not hot enough for the Chiefs. Uh, Casey's trying to hold on to that one spot. Uh, they, I think they win big in this one, in my opinion. Vikings, Giants, same thing. Vikings are fighting to stay alive. Um, well, they are alive, but they're they're fighting to uh, you know win their conference. Uh, they win at home. Here's my upset of the week. I'm trying to say this quietly because I have Burrow and I have Chase. Cincinnati going to New England. Belichick is a mastermind closing down uh, parts of uh, offenses. I think New England's going to squeak this out. I think it's actually going to be higher scoring than you think. So we're going to shoot for like a 32-28 uh, New England wins with a final field goal kind of win. Lions going on the road again to Carolina. It is warm weather. Shock, shock, shock. They went out and played the Jets. Oh, so much fun. They came out and uh, scored a touchdown uh, at the end of the game. Ravens uh, playing the, the Falcons. Just Falcons aren't good. I'm taking the Ravens. Uh, 49ers, Washington. 49ers are hottest team in the NFL right now. Uh, Philadelphia, Dallas. Dallas is not doing well. I think Dax has nine interceptions. The rest of the teams, no one has more than five. Um, Pollard should have a good game. Uh, it will be high scoring. I think well over 40. I haven't looked at the lines yet, but uh, Eagles go into Dallas and win. It's a 430 game. Steelers at home playing uh, the Raiders. Uh, Steelers are st they're not hot right now. They're not doing well, but it's still it's hard to play in Pittsburgh, especially coming from Vegas. It'd probably be chilly outside. 
I'm taking the, the running game of Najee Harris and the Steelers. Uh, Dolphins, Green Bay, Christmas Eve game. I'm going with the Dolphins. They're on a three three game slump. Aaron Rodgers is sloppy right now. Miami's back in warm weather. They need this game to win. I, th I think they finally get back on the board with a win and you know secure maybe a six or seven slot. Then it won't be secured this week. I think it'll come down to the final week. Uh, Rams, Baker Mayfield at home playing Denver. Denver just not good. I'm taking the Rams. Uh, Bucks going to Arizona. Kyler Murray's hurt. Um, I'm taking uh, Ta Tampa Tom. Uh, night game at Arizona. Uh, close game, maybe low scoring. I don't know. Let's call it uh, 20 to 17 or something like that. And then Chargers going to Indy. <sighs> I have Chargers picked here. I may flip on this one. It's Colts in the dome. Uh, they were doing so well, so well against uh, uh, last week. Who they play? I forget. Um, the old Minnesota. They were doing so well and then just fell apart. So <sighs> I don't know. Chargers need the game to make playoffs. We'll stick with the Chargers on that one. So those are my picks of the week. Thanks for joining me. I know it's a long-winded video. Maybe Candy will clean it up. But thanks for coming to see me. Listen to my well, biggest achievements for the year and uh, you know what people have become and uh, my plans. But uh, thanks for coming today. Check check us out and answer my questions. You know what's your, what's your biggest ac accomplishment? And um, you know hopefully you guys have a uh, an excellent holiday and we will see you next week.